Wii Sports is one of the most iconic and best-selling video games ever made. Since its release in 2006, over 82 million copies have been sold, multiple sequels have been created, it has provided countless hours of entertainment, and yet one question remains untested. Can an AI learn to play Wii Sports? I first got this idea after learning that you can actually play Wii Sports with a mouse and keyboard, which will make it much easier for the AI to input controls. Wii Sports was revolutionary when it came out because of its use of motion controls, and as you might imagine, simulating these motion controls with a mouse and keyboard doesn't work very well. However, after experimenting around in some of the different sports, the one that caught my attention the most was baseball. It seemed to be the most consistent and everything can be controlled with just key presses. For example, you can press one key to swing and a combination of keys to throw different pitches. The simplicity of the controls compared to the other sports makes it the best option for the AI. And now that the sport had been decided on, it was time to actually create the AI. There's two parts to Wii Sports Baseball, which is batting and pitching, and because these actions are completely separate from one another, I'll actually create two different AIs, one for each. I'll start with the AI for batting. The AI for batting will need to be able to analyze a pitch in real time and determine if and when to swing. To do this, I will use a convolutional neural network. If you've never heard of it before, all you really need to know is that it's a special kind of neural network that is especially good at analyzing images. It's actually what I used in my GeoGuessr video as well. My idea is that I will train the AI to analyze any given image of a pitch and have it determine if it should initiate a swing or not. Then I can write a script to repeatedly take screenshots and show it to the AI at a fast rate. However, there's one major problem with this approach which is that there's no way to determine the speed or movement of the ball with a single image. For example, one of these images is from a fastball pitch, and the other is from a splitter. The AI should swing at the fastball, but not at the splitter, since it's almost impossible to hit. Of course, you can't tell which one is which until I show the videos of these pitches. Since the AI needs to know the movement of the ball to differentiate different types of pitches, it will be impossible for the AI to know when to swing by only analyzing a single image. So instead of showing the AI a single image at a time, I will also show it the last few frames of the pitch as well. This sequence of images is essentially just a short video that the AI can analyze to better predict when to swing. I will achieve this by using a recurrent neural network. A recurrent neural network is just another special type of neural network which is useful for analyzing sequences of data. So now I will feed the sequences of images one at a time into the convolutional neural network and then pass the sequences of outputs into the recurrent neural network, which will finally determine if the AI should initiate a swing. The last thing I'll add before this design is complete is a step to pre-process the images before showing it to the AI. The entire process turns a pitch from looking like this to this. This process simplifies the image while still keeping the key details and will help the AI analyze the image faster and with higher accuracy. Now that the design was complete, it was time to train and test the AI. I want to train the AI to be able to beat the Wii Sports CPU in an actual game, but I don't want it to just be able to beat the easiest characters in the game, I want the AI to reach the pro skill level and ultimately beat the champion of baseball. If you don't already know, each CPU character in Wii Sports has a skill level, and as you increase your own skill level, the difficulty of the CPU increases as well. The champion of baseball is Sakura, who has the highest skill level of all the CPU characters. In order to train the AI to reach the pro skill level and beat the champion, I will record myself hitting pitches against higher level opponents around 1000 skill level and then show this data to the AI to have it learn. This is known as behavioral cloning. It's worth noting that I will only show the AI swings where I hit the ball and discard swings where I fouled or completely missed the ball, which means that, in theory, the AI should actually become better than me. In total, I recorded myself hitting over 400 pitches. In addition to hitting the ball, the AI also needs to know when not to swing like when the pitch is a splitter or a ball. 
so I also recorded myself not hitting over 400 bad pitches to teach the AI when not to swing. In total, I manually collected data on nearly 900 pitches and trained the AI on the data. In order to see if the AI was working, I tested it in the batting practice mode. The batting practice mode makes it easy to test the AI on many pitches at a time, and most of the pitches are slow and easy to hit. So if the AI has any chance of working in an actual game, then it should work in the batting practice mode without any problem. Here's what happened when I tested the AI. As you can see, the AI had learned to correctly time its swing and was able to hit balls consistently. It was still yet to be seen if the AI would work in an actual game, but this was a very promising start. In total, it managed to hit 28 out of 30 balls, which was even better than I was ever able to do. You can see the progress of the AI over the course of its training in different epochs. An epoch is an iteration of learning over the entire training data. So generally speaking, the more epochs the AI trains for, the better it should become. You can see that the longer the AI trains for, the AI becomes more consistent and the swings are timed better. Now that the AI was ready for batting, it was time to create the AI for pitching. The AI for pitching should be able to analyze the current game situation and throw the pitch that has the highest likelihood of getting a strike or getting the batter out and minimize the chances of a runner scoring. The way I planned to do this was to create an AI which would take in current information about the game, such as how many strikes and balls there were, as well as if the batter was left-handed or right-handed and the sequence of pitches that came before it. Then the AI would output the best pitch to throw. There are four types of pitches in Wii Sports Baseball. The fastball, curveball, screwball, and splitter. In addition to this, the pitcher also has the ability to aim the pitch left, right, or center. This means that there are 12 different pitches that the AI can choose from at any time. In order to train the AI, I would manually collect data by throwing the different types of pitches and recording the current game state as well as the outcome of the pitch. When a pitch is thrown, there is a number of different outcomes that can happen. I decided to assign values to each outcome where negative 1 represents the worst possible outcome and positive 1 represents the best possible outcome. This list is very subjective and you may disagree with the values. Using these values, I collected data for over 850 pitches against batters around 1000 skill level and train the AI on the data to predict the pitch which would result in the best outcome for a given situation. This was the result. Ball. Strike. Strike. You're probably starting to notice a pattern. The AI throws right splitters every single time. At first, I thought this was probably an error with the AI until I realized that it actually seems to work. And this becomes very obvious when we look at the data and see the average outcome for each pitch. The right splitter is clearly the most effective when compared to all other pitches. And it makes sense too when you think about it. When you throw a splitter, if the batter swings, it's almost always going to be either a strike foul, or easy out. And if the batter doesn't swing, it just ends up being a ball. So the best bet for the batter is to never swing and just take walks. However, the Wii Sports CPUs are not programmed to be smart enough to figure that out and will very often swing at splitters anyway. The splitter is so effective because it's a generally low risk and high reward pitch. However, there is one big downside to always throwing splitters that I haven't mentioned yet which is that throwing a splitter has a chance of an error and will instead throw a slow fastball down the middle. This is the main counter to throwing a splitter, and the main way that the CPU will score runs against the AI. However, the CPUs don't always capitalize on the errant pitch, 
and the data would suggest that even with this nerf, the splitter is still the best pitch to throw in any situation. This was a problem that probably didn't require AI to solve. It's not the flashiest solution, but it just goes to show that sometimes the simplest solutions are the best solutions. And now that the AIs for batting and pitching were ready, it was time to play some real games. As I mentioned previously, the goal for the AI will be to reach the pro skill level and ultimately beat Sakura, the champion of baseball. The AI will start at zero skill level, so it will have to increase its skill level over time by winning games against increasingly challenging opponents until it reaches the champion. Here is the first game the AI played on its road to facing the champion. The first opponent is the lowest ranked, and therefore the easiest opponent that the AI would face. The first opponent mainly throws slow fastballs down the middle, and it was fairly easy for the AI to hit the ball, hitting a triple, followed by a double, to go up 1-0 for an early lead. This was followed by a single off of an error. However, the next two at-bats resulted in outs after the AI hit the ball. You're out. You're out. The next batter took a strike and hit a few foul balls before getting a double to score another run. This was followed immediately by another double to score two more runs and go up 4-0. The top of the first inning eventually ended after a mistimed swing by the AI led to an easy out. We can now see the effectiveness of the pitching strategy that the AI found. Ball. Strike. Bell ball. Strike. By only throwing right splitters, the AI struck out the first and second batter and got an easy out on the third batter to quickly end the inning. You're out. The AI was back to batting and continued to consistently hit pitches resulting in a couple of singles. Single. Single. The AI still hadn't managed to make good enough contact to hit a home run despite getting close on this double. After a couple more at-bats, the AI had managed to extend its lead to 6-0. This pitch is interesting because it shows the first time that the AI correctly didn't swing at a ball. However, this was directly followed by a poor swing which led to the third out. Back on pitching, and the AI cruised through the inning, getting three strikeouts in nine pitches. This pitching strategy is especially effective against the lower rated CPUs, whereas the higher rated CPUs will get better at not swinging at every single pitch. This game ended in a mercy rule, which happens when an inning ends with one team winning by five or more runs. With one win down, the AI was off to a strong start. However, the AI only gained 95 skill level from that win, and it would need more than 1200 to challenge the champion. This meant that the AI was going to need to play, and win, a lot more games. The entire gameplay of the AI leveling up is over 2 hours long. I'll post the entire unedited gameplay on my Patreon, but for the sake of keeping this video a reasonable length, 
Here is a very condensed highlight reel of the AI playing games and leveling up to the championship match. I'll also put some baseball statistics on the screen so you can track the performance of the AI as it progresses through the games.
The AI started at zero skill level, climbed its way to pro, and now it finally had a high enough skill level to challenge the champion of Wii Sports Baseball. The final test for the AI was to beat Sakura, the highest rated CPU in the game. Unlike the first opponent the AI faced, Sakura throws every type of pitch in varying directions and speeds, meaning that the AI will need to hit all types of pitches and also know when not to swing at bad pitches. Luckily, however, the first pitch of the game was a slow fastball right down the middle, which the AI took full advantage of and hit for a home run, a perfect start for the AI. With the next batter, we can start to see how the AI is deliberately picking which pitches to swing at. However, even though the pitch recognition was on point, the bat ends with a ground out. The next at bat ends in a similar way with a mistimed swing resulting in a fly out. Despite the perfect start, the AI was now just one strike away from getting three straight outs. The AI was able to stay in it though by letting a splitter pass and fouling off a few balls before hitting a line drive for a double. Still just one out away, the next batter stepped up to the plate when this happened. The AI perfectly timed its swing on a 97 mile per hour fastball to hit a home run and extend its lead to 3-0. The next batter would eventually ground out which meant that the AI would switch to pitching with a 3 run lead. We can now see how effective the pitching strategy found by the AI is at a higher level. Now, the CPU will not swing at every splitter, and when it does, it often results in a foul instead of a strike. This can often lead to pretty long at-bats where the batter continually fouls off pitches to avoid a strikeout. Eventually though, the AI is able to strike out the first batter. However, the second batter demonstrates the biggest risk of always throwing splitters. As I mentioned earlier, when throwing a splitter, there is a random chance of an error resulting in a slow fastball down the middle, and the higher rated opponents will usually take advantage of this, as the CPU just did. Luckily, the AI was able to avoid any more errors and got two strikeouts on the next two batters to end the inning and avoid any runs from being scored. So now it was back to batting, and the AI didn't have the best of starts, striking out after incorrectly swinging at a splitter. The AI would be quick to redeem itself though, getting this solo home run on an 86 mile per hour curveball. The AI would add on to that with a single before grounding out for a second out. The AI followed that with a double to move two runners into scoring position. Now, with just one out remaining, the AI would once again make a crucial hit, scoring two runs on this double and extending its lead to 6-0. The next batter would ground out for the final out, meaning that the AI was back to pitching. The AI got lucky in the previous inning to only have one error, but it seemed like its luck had run out with the first pitch resulting in an error and a hit for the CPU. The very next pitch was also an error, but luckily for the AI, the batter didn't swing and the AI was able to eventually get the strikeout. The errors wouldn't stop though, with a double error on this play. And another error on this pitch, the CPU had the bases loaded with just one out. Scoring now seemed almost inevitable for the CPU. However, the AI was able to get lucky to not throw any errors in this long at bat, which eventually led to a strikeout. 
With two outs and the bases loaded, it was none other than the champion of baseball herself, Sakura, who stepped to the plate. A home run here could change the entire complexion of the game, while a strikeout would end the game by mercy rule. Here's what happened. With three quick pitches, the AI struck out the champion of baseball and won the game by mercy rule. The AI had now played 13 games, increased its skill level from 0 to over 1300, and had a flawless record. So naturally, I had to play more games to find out just how far the AI could go before being defeated. The AI would win its next game by a very narrow margin, only scoring a single run on this home run. However, it made up for that in the next game after scoring 16 runs in a blowout win. It would be the third game though, where the AI would finally meet its match. The AI was a single strike away from ending the game in a tie before throwing this error, which would end its 15 game winning streak finishing with a skill level of 1570. These full games will also be available on my Patreon, as well as the code from this video and all my other videos, and a video walking through the code. To summarize this video, the AI used computer vision to learn to recognize and consistently hit pitches, while also finding an optimal pitching strategy which could almost be considered an exploit in the game. The AI achieved its goal of defeating the champion of baseball, and I definitely think it answered the question that an AI can play Wii Sports. If you made it this far and enjoyed the video, then consider subscribing and leaving a like. Thanks for watching.